Hi everyone, welcome to this week's catch up. We've got some crochet, we've got some books, we've got a very tired me. If you want to see what I've been up to this week then keep on watching. Hi everybody, first off, please excuse me looking like the wreck of the house for us because I am tired. <laughs> tired is an understatement, I am absolutely shattered. I was at work yesterday, my only day off is today and then I'm back at work tomorrow so I really had to rush and drag myself to do this video. <laughs> and I've got a thousand and one life admin things to do as well, including my nails because I chewed my nail off yesterday. They need taken off anyway because they're all starting to chip grow out etc so that's on my list of jobs so please excuse the one now with no gel on it um oh i am exhausted i am literally tired <laughs> so tired and i have one day off back in work tomorrow on an early shift is saturday today this morning i've had to go to the library to collect some books which i'll talk about in a minute um i have finished my blanket that is the main thing of this video is that I have finished my blanket. Oh, also, side note, on the way to walking down to my summer house, I nearly got killed by a pear that fell on my head off my tree. True story. That just It was just like a bomb of pears falling off my tree. And I've had so many pears off that tree that I can't bother to collect them anymore. So I'm like, let the wildlife eat them. Anyway, my blanket is finished. I'm so happy. So, this is she. Let's get it right. I popped a crab stitch border on it, just a really simple border. And this is what it looks like. It's got a granny square, little mini granny square here. It's got some big sunburst granny squares in the middle. I think this is the wrong way round. One, two, three, four, one, two, four three, four, five, no, this, this is the right way, right? Um, so yeah, I'm so happy with it. Let me stand up. It is like quite big. It's kind of a lap blanket, a little bit bigger than a lap blanket size. Um, it did take me a while because obviously I went back to work then I was doing other stuff in between. Um, so I am going to write the pattern up for this but it might take me a while because I literally have no days off. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to do it kind of little bits at a time. I will try and get it written up as soon as I can. I'm just got a thousand and one things going on at the minute and I don't have time to sleep, let alone <laughs> write a pattern up. So I promise you it is coming. I'm gonna try my very best to do it over the next couple of weeks. I need to book some annual leave anyway because <clears throat> obviously I was off sick for three and a half months and I acc accrued annual leave during that time so I have six weeks of annual leave to take before March the 31st. So your girl is going to be utilising that. So yes, this is she. I absolutely love it. I'm so proud of it. Um, I learned some new skills because I've never done join as you go so for the sunburst granny squares I did join as you go but if you are a super beginner and you don't want to do join as you go that's absolutely fine you can um, just join them all in one it won't it won't make them um, you can join them after you can just add the round the cream round this cream round as you're making them you don't have to do it join as you go um it's basically treble crochets it's mostly granny this bit here um is back loops like one normal one back loop so it gives it a bit of a a texture and the crab stitch border which i've never done before in my entire life as well so that was really good and i'm literally obsessed with this border now i want to put it on everything on everything so as soon as I am physically able to, I will get the pattern written up for you. Unfortunately, I've been taken off of night shifts because of my medication. <laughs> so I can't even sit there on a night shift when it's a bit um, more settled and write it up. So um, it might be a little while 
like I said, I am going to try and get it done. I promise. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And also, I quickly made this little hat for my little baby granddaughter. It's so cute. I made this in like an hour. It's really easy. I might do a tutorial on this. Because it's like the easiest hat. Magic circle. A few increases. Um, and then the th when you crochet in the third loop. So it kind of gives it this like ribbed effect. Made the little ears separately. It was just a bit of scrap yarn I had. And I wanted to use it up. But I'll probably do a tutorial on that. Um, I think this is Karen Simply Soft. I think this is Karen Simply Soft. So that's that one. I am going to do a quick tutorial tomorrow so I'm on an early shift and I finish at three so I'm gonna whiz home film I'm gonna do a crab stitch um tutorial because I haven't got time to film like a whole project so for the next few weeks it might just be that I'm doing some like new stitches um rather than a whole project but I will definitely do this one and also I had a lovely lady contact me and ask me if I had a pattern for some placemats so that is on my list to do as well is some um, a placemat tutorial um i've just been to the library and picked up two books i'm still reading the atlas six because i've been so tired when i get home from work i'm just like fast asleep so i picked up once upon a tome this looks like just like a really fun read it's about working in a bookshop I think somebody recommended it on um, booktube that's why I picked it up from the library well I ordered it from the library and then I've got a bit of a trash read <laughs> it's not Colleen Hoover if you're a Colleen Hoover stan don't come at me but I can't stand her books this is Taylor Jenkins read Carrie Soto's back so I've read a lot of um, Taylor Jenkins Reid's books and they are so easy to read quick to get through like Daisy Jones and the Six loved it Seven Husbands of Evelyn, Evelyn Hugo. Oh my God, it made me blub. Such a good book. If you only read one of her books, make sure it's The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because it is just like heartbreaking. But this, um, I think it's about... Oh, she was an Olympic. Was she Olympic? I don't know. It's going to be good anyway, it's Taylor Jenkins read. So, <laughs> can you tell my brain is absolutely fried? Um, yeah, so that is my read. So I need to finish the Atlas 6 and then I can start on those two. Um, anything else to report? Not a lot really. Just been work, work, work. And got some exciting stuff coming soon. Which I spent some of the morning sorting out as well. Can't tell you what it is yet. Lisa Marie knows. Go and waterboard Lisa Marie for information. Um, so yeah, that's all been sorted out this morning. I am going to make a video on it when it happens. <laughs> I know this is really cryptic and I'm chatting absolute rubbish because I am so tired. Um, that's about it. So yeah, have a lovely rest of the week. Hope everyone's well and I will get the tutorial for the crab stitch border filmed tomorrow after work when I've sorted my nails out because some people get very precious <laughs> when you put a tutorial they're like oh my god your nails need doing right okay calm down hun um yeah so when I get back from work tomorrow I will film that get it edited and get it up for Tuesday that is it you can find all my social accounts down below in the description yeah, and I'll see you all on Tuesday. Happy crochet.